Vegetarians, look away now. A brewery in Southampton has whipped off a beer with pig's blood in it, no less. Described as black pudding stout, the drink is the latest concoction from the Dancing Man Brewery. Jessica Wilkins went along to find out more. <laughs> <laughs> Pig's blood doesn't sound like an obvious ingredient in beer, but one Southampton pub begs to differ. The Dancing Man Brewery has whipped up a stout made with pig's blood. Customers were served the drink as part of a pig-themed feast. Did we come up with the idea of pork and beer, or pig and beer feast? Uh, so it was to be four courses of pig. Um, it was very easy to pair some beer with pork. It's a, it's, a, it's a meat you can do a lot with, so you can balance a lot of flavour against it. Um, we thought with one of the courses it would be nice to go one step further and actually try and integrate the pork or pig element into the actual beer. Um, and it sort of went from there. It seemed like... Um, Black pudding was, was an obvious thing, the liquid element of blood, so to speak, um, was, was kind of going to be a, a fairly easy thing to infuse with it. The pig's blood comes in a powder, which is then rehydrated before it's added to the drink. In, in England, um, I, I'm led to believe that, that uh, raw pig's blood is actually illegal. Uh, I don't believe it is in other countries, but um, in England it's certainly not. I, you know, I think that would have been a bit risky to use anyway, had we had it available. Um, what, what butchers do, um, and what our butcher Simon Upton of um, Upton and Bassett does, is you get freeze-dried blood um, that's, uh, that's food safe, uh, food ready, uh, so you can you can make uh, black pudding. Uh, before it's cooked, it's 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 edible. You know, it's, it's safe to eat. Uh, so we we researched that a little bit. Um, so we rehydrated the blood uh, powder, and then that got added to to the beer. The heady brew contains brown sugar, spices, and is 6.3 percent. But do the paying public fancy a pint? Um, there's a local brewery, they've just started making a beer using pig's blood. Okay. I mean, would that be something you'd be willing to try? That's disgusting. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no. not, no. Huh? No, never, ever in my life, no. Oh, yeah, I like black pudding, I, I would try it, yeah. yeah. Give it a try. Eating black pudding and drinking a pint of beer that tastes like black pudding is two different things, isn't it? I don't think I'd like that at well, all. No. I would try it, because yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind the blood part of it, no. Even if it wasn't vegetarian, we've got loads to drink anyway. Why do you need to like drink blood from a pig? Like, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit pig weird. didn't do anything to you, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. No, it's in black pudding, isn't it? You know, black pudding ale. Why not? <laughs> Pig's blood? No, that's gross. Yeah, no, that's... No, I wouldn't want to try that. Mm, I, would, I would try it uh, without, um, without saying I'd drink it all. <laughs> <laughs> I've drunk a lot of stuff, but I've never tried that. <laughs> Jessica Wilkins for that Solent.